Good morning. I'm Chris Alas with Denison Yachting, and today I'm going to walk you through this 2016 Azimut 50 Atlantis named C La Vie. On this cool December morning in Charleston, South Carolina, I'm going to be showing you through one of the sexiest boats in the area. Most people on the water are familiar with Azimut and the incredible range of yachts that they offer. Today's breakdown is directed primarily at the American buyer who may be familiar with Azimut motor yachts found around the world, but less familiar with the Atlantis series. This series is the Italian manufacturer's answer to the express cruiser question. At 50 feet, this Azimut offers a 14.6 beam that's loaded with options for the whole family. Easy to operate and even easier to enjoy, this yacht is engineered to accommodate six guests below decks and is a pleasure to maneuver. One of the things that makes this boat so easy to operate is the joystick. In this case, coupled to the simple design of props and shafts. You still get the reliability and lower maintenance of a direct drive system, but the maneuverability of pods by incorporating the bow and stern thruster. One of my favorite ways to operate this boat is with this huge sunroof open so that you still get the sun and the wind in your hair. The boat is powered by Cummins QSC 8.3s with a top speed of 32 knots and a good solid cruise of 28 knots. Not only does this boat have all of the features that you would expect on a 50 foot express cruiser, it has one or two that maybe you wouldn't expect, such as a passerelle or boarding gangway, which is where we're going to start today's walkthrough. Located on the starboard side, this is a great way to get on or off the boat if you're docked stern two. And it also makes a great diving board. Another one of my favorite features is found just a few steps down from the cockpit, the hydraulic swim platform. Not only does it make swimming or getting in the water super easy, but it also makes it simple to launch and retrieve the tender. The Atlantis has steps from the swim platform up on port and starboard, which not only helps with the flow of traffic up and down, it also looks cool and balanced. A key feature that you find on more and more express cruisers these days is a tender garage, and this boat is no exception. In the center of the raised cockpit is this convertible seating area. With the teak table raised in place, it easily seats four people. With the table lowered and the backrest flipped over, it turns into a very comfortable sun lounger. On the starboard side are these hot and cold shower controls and also the shore power inlets. On port and starboard are these quick power windlasses for handling dock lines. The race cockpit also features an electric Kenyan grill and wet bar area. Rounding out this area is access to the engine room, which is through a hatch in the cockpit floor. Before we get to the interior, follow me up the port side deck so that we can take a look at the bow. A key aspect of any good yacht design is being able to move forward safely. This boat features high railings all the way around on the outside and great handholds on the inside. Up here on the bow, you will find another large sun pad. This is a great place for your guests and crew to spread out and get comfortable. In keeping with the clean lines and design of the boat, the quick anchor windlass is recessed beneath this hatch on the bow. Wrapping up on the exterior, next we're going to move inside these beautiful polished stainless Opakmari doors. The entire salon is wrapped in glass, which provides lots of natural light and excellent visibility. On the port side, we find this big, beautiful cream-colored dinette with a table big enough to easily seat six people for dinner or drinks. Immediately forward to this is a day bed. Another nice touch in the salon are these large sliding windows found on port and starboard. Opposite the dinette on the starboard side is this built-in console with a few great features. First, this is where you'll find the disappearing TV that's mounted on a lift. Just aft of this is a two burner electric induction cooktop and just forward of it is another small fridge and freezer. Our final stop on the main deck is the helm found starboard and forward. The centerpiece of this area is this Raymarine Axiom system with integrated radar and autopilot and all of your other instruments. 
The nice thing about this system is you can display all of the gauges and all of the information on this system and also you've got the redundancy of having the analog system and the gauges all the way surrounding it. Directly below the Raymarine monitor is your autopilot and Raymarine data screen as well as this really convenient quick chain counter. Finally, as I mentioned before, this yacht has joystick piloting. Next, follow me down these four steps to the galley area and the guest accommodations. At the foot of the stairs, on the port side, we first come to the galley. There's a big, deep galley sink. There's a pantry storage area, a four burner induction cooktop, and below it, a Bosch dishwasher. Just to the right of that is a fridge and freezer. The 50 Atlantis could have been configured two different ways, a two cabin or a three cabin version. This one happens to be the three cabin version with bunks on starboard side. At the foot of the stairs, we turn left and step down into the owner suite, which in this case is a full beam master. In addition to a forward-facing centerline queen berth, the master has lots of natural light coming in from hull side windows on both port and starboard. An abundance of storage can be found in the form of large hanging lockers as well as drawer storage. On the Ford bulkhead is a Samsung LCD TV and entertainment system. Rounding out the master, we have a large ensuite head with a beautiful glass shower stall. Our final stop on today's walkthrough is the VIP found forward in the bow. Similar to the master cabin, the VIP features natural light provided by port and starboard hull side windows, as well as cabinet and hanging locker storage found on both sides of the bed. On the port side, we'll find an LG LCD TV, and on starboard is the entrance to the ensuite head. This head features a door that is central to the common area in the galley and can also be utilized as a day head. Thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of this 2016 Azimut 50 Atlantis in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. If you'd like more information about the boat, please feel free to contact me anytime.